I'm Griffo, this is Griffo Media. Welcome to my channel. Today it's another crosshair converter video. This time to demonstrate every single controller on the Nintendo Switch. This little box looks like Apple TV, doesn't it? And it's a right magician. Basically, it allows any controller on any console, whether it be Xbox One, PS4, Xbox 360, PS3. Uh, it's just a genius little device. Today I'm going to demonstrate the Nintendo Switch. So you'll get controllers like the PS4, Xbox 360, PS3, and even the trusty Xbox One. And if we have time at the end of the demonstration, I'll even show you this little box of tricks working on the Nintendo Switch with Mario Kart with a driving wheel. Thanks for checking us out. Let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is remove the USB cable from our little crosshair converter. That's the little converter there. We need to dock the Nintendo Switch right into the Nintendo dock there and choose the first controller we're gonna use. So what we'll do now is plug that back in and plug in the PS4 controller. That is the controller that I wanna use first and demo on the channel. So this is the controller here. And we're gonna fire up the TV just above and I'll show you how this thing works. So the next thing to do is to plug in the PS4 controller USB into the crosshair converter. We've done that already and that's connected onto the Nintendo Switch just over there. And now you can see D-pad works, dual shocks also work. And the purposes of this demo, we're just gonna get into Mario Kart and I'll show you how this works. Flawlessly, I might add as well with the PS4 controller, gonna accelerate with the O, gonna drift with this button up the top here and then throw items with this one here. Here we go. So there you go. And like I say, D-pad will take you down and up left and right or you can use the dual shock to do that we're just going to hop into a single player grand prix 100 cc because obviously i'm going to be trying to film to do this mario that'll do and uh, let's just jump into the mario circuit for this one showing you the ps4 controller then we'll move on to the xbox one controller just to show you that just works as well and this is for people who don't want to fork out for Joy-Cons. What is it, 65 pound for two? So there we go, we can speed it up here. So let's go on a two. There you go. And then like I say, you can drift with this button here on the top. And then use your items with that one. That was a bit of a, a burst. As you can see, it works, works great, doesn't it? Obviously, you're not wireless. You're gonna be controlling this with a USB. So a uh, USB extender would be good, but uh, yeah, it works really well. So that's the PS4 controller. Let's move on now to the Xbox One. Okay, so here's my Xbox One controller plugged into the converter and now controlling the Nintendo Switch. As you can see, DualShock works fine. So does the D-pad as well, actually. And this time we're using B to access the game. And we're just gonna jump into the Grand Prix like before, 100cc. And we'll choose Luigi this time so we know which controller we're using. And as you can see, the picture's blurring up just ever so slightly there. Let's just try and zoom in on that. And uh, let's do sunshine. So this is the Xbox One controller plugged into a crosshair converter, which is just over there into the Nintendo Switch, which makes you and enables you to use any controller on the Nintendo Switch, which is great. So there's Luigi, and we'll go on to with a B. And it's the same procedure on this. You can use the, the deep butt pad or you can use the dual shocks. And you see? Ace, isn't it? And then of course when you pick up an item. You can
can throw said item with uh, the top left button which I'll demonstrate here straight through the item and throw that item you see I think you get the idea don't you guys You go let's move on to the Xbox 360 and the final controller we're going to demo on the Nintendo switch is my trusty PS3 controller for me the best of the lot I love this controller ergonomically just a really nice hold in the hand uh, it always keeps a really good charge I've got several of these dotted around the house uh, we're gonna go Bowser in this final video just to show you uh, the PS3 controller working on the Nintendo Switch and I hope you might get one of these converters I've not been paid to do this video I pay for the controller as I said in the previous shot myself um, it just is great and for me because I've had all the consoles down the years I've got so many old controllers lying around now I can just use whatever on whatever so let's go on to Okay, here we go. And then of course, use my little item button. Everything is positioned exactly the same on each of the controllers as you've probably noticed by now. But uh, yeah, excellent. So there we go guys. Any controller on the Nintendo Switch, including my Logitech G29 wheel and pedals, I've decided to make another video demonstrating Mario Kart on the wheel. I think it's the natural thing to do. I think it deserves a video of its own. So uh, thanks for checking out the channel, guys. Uh, but if you just wait there, I think Amazon are knocking the door again. Oh, what? Another Amazon delivery to end the video. What could it be? What could it be? What could it be? Oh, I've just defeated the object of the video. Okay, nice to have some spares though. Thanks for watching guys.